So you can see live exactly how I operate and go through uh, different contracts here. <clears throat> I will uh, have the link so you can join the live YouTube. Uh, again, those of you on YouTube, I actually go on Clubhouse as well on Tuesdays and talk about government contracting. Uh, so I'll put that link in the description of the YouTube video as well. But again, uh, each and every Thursday at noon, I do go over government contracts. Hey, what's going on, Charlie? How are you? I do go over government contracts here on YouTube, letting you see exactly what it is that I do, how I operate these, um, looking for opportunities. Again, research is one of the most important things to me when it comes to government contracting. So I like to make sure that you can understand exactly how I'm going about looking at research. Again, there are multiple ways at this, so don't think that uh, the, the way that I'm saying is the only way to uh, go about this process. But again, uh, if you've been following me, hopefully you enjoy the ways that I've been showing you so you can take advantage of it you know, implement it into your system here. But let's get this ball rolling. Again, uh, if you are on uh, Clubhouse and you want to actually see what I'm doing, you can click the link at the top. It'll bring you over to YouTube. And um, I'm live on here, and I'll be showing you, instead of just hearing me talk about it, I'll be showing you exactly what it is that I do. And by all means, have your NAICS code. Drop it into the comments. And uh, I'll look up opportunities for you. What's going on, Mo? Gang is in the house. And don't forget, when we say gang, it's gathering and networking genuinely. But again, appreciate all you guys for hanging out with me this morning or this afternoon, wherever you're at. I know they lied to me in Upper Marlboro. They said it was 60 degrees on my iPhone, and it's not 60 degrees. Hey, what happened to my screens? Hold on, guys. I lost my screens here for a second. Hopefully it didn't impact you all. Yeah, I see all my screens just went out. I don't know what happened there. But we're back up and running here. Uh, da -da. Let me change my screen here. Cool. So now you guys should be able to see this part of my screen. Let me take this title off for you guys. Let me remove this. And this. All right, so... Uh, what I wanted to start today, we're going to be talking about the middleman process, okay? Uh, again, Charlie, I appreciate you for putting your uh, NAICS code in the chat. We'll uh, look up those NAICS codes there towards the end. Hey, what's happening, Amber? Uh, we're going to be looking at the middleman process or talking about the middleman process of government contracting. And honestly, to me, uh, a lot of you all um, can start this way. I think that you uh, should look to start this way. Uh, it's a process that um, you, know, you can become familiar with quickly to to get your feet in the door uh, instead of taking on everything on your own. Again, that's a, a scary thing to do to me is taking on everything on your own. I don't want you guys to do that either. So if you start with this middleman type process, you'll be able to make some things happen there. So let's get this party rolling here. Um, let me... Close that out. And what I mean by the middleman process is you're just looking at opportunities here. To me, you could do anything. Okay. So you see they got retail marketing support. Um, and and you could look at my previous videos as far as Sam.gov. I didn't want to walk through the whole process. That's where we're at right now. We're on Sam.gov. And um, I switched uh, search filters to opportunities uh, coming out this month. So I could give you an idea of uh, how to middleman these type processes here. Now, the easiest thing to middleman, of course, is going to be products, okay? Because I think we naturally can uh, uh, put that in our mind that we can be the middleman to the process of selling products because we do it all the time. Like, we, we're always trying to hustle stuff where we get it at a low price, we're trying to sell it higher. You got like fire sticks out there. People have done that. Um, shoes, people are doing a lot of that right now. Like they're not the maker of the shoes. They're not the maker of the fire stick. Even uh, some of the fire sticks, they, you have to program the fire stick, then resell it to somebody else. And if you can do that, right? If you could just understand that concept, 
that you did right there, you were a middleman to the sales process. And what what it really is, is that the manufacturer doesn't know how to sell their product. They know how to make stuff, but they don't know how to sell stuff. As well as the buyer doesn't know how to go source products. So instead of them going out to source it on their own or to sell it on their own, you are in the middle of the process. You know the buyer, you know the seller, and you're going to get a fee in between that. Now, I told you that for products, but if you could just, uh, and, and again, I like to make this process easy for myself. I don't like to use a lot of words. The more words you put into it, the more you start to confuse yourself. So I consider people products because I still got to put them on a line item <clears throat> and tell essentially the quantity. They call it per hour. I call it quantity. You know, you uh, uh, the box of tissue costs $20 per box and I'm just throwing a number. Uh, so the box of tissue costs $20 per box. How many boxes do you want? 5,000 boxes. I multiply the boxes and that's how I got it. Well, people are the same thing to me. Okay. So the, the person for whatever the, uh, uh, um, job title is, they require that they want, um, $40 an hour. So that's how much I get to buy the box at $40 an hour. Then I'm going to sell it to the customer at, again, I'm just throwing numbers, $82 an hour. Okay, the customer's buying it at that. Now, how many of that do you want at 82? Well, they want 4,080 hours of that. Okay, well, now again, I am literally the middleman. See, the worker does not know how to sell themselves. Okay. Because they're just like the manufacturer. They don't know marketing. They don't know sales. But they have something that they need to get out there. So that's the product to me. So let me get in the middle of the worker. Let me, let me get this worker their money that they want. And then let me find this buyer called government over here who has a problem. And I know the resource that they need. They just don't know how to access it. So now I'm in the middle of the transaction. I hope that you guys understand this method right here. And now we can walk through becoming a middleman to government contracts. All right. If you did understand that, go ahead and put a fire emoji in the chat of YouTube. If you got what I said right there, as far as being the middleman to these processes here. All right. Got it. Got it. Acting as the middleman. Currently acting as the middleman bidding on my first janitorial contract. That's what I'm talking about. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. Appreciate it, Mo. That's what I'm talking about. Appreciate it, Derek. Fire truck axle. I'm just looking for something simple that we could look. Exercise equipment. All right. Come on. Now we're going to take a look at exercise equipment. Thanks for the fire, Amber, Kanisha, Charlie. That's what I'm talking about. And we're going to look at your next codes in a minute. Don't forget, if you do have a next code, go ahead and drop it in the chat. And uh, I'll go back through a little later here and take a look at opportunities for you. Tina, appreciate the fire emoji. All right, so we're over here. We're looking at this exercise equipment opportunity. And again, you may be saying, look, I don't know anything about exercise equipment. Well, I mean, you know what uh, uh, exercise stuff is like. And the beauty is the government is going to tell us exactly what we need. Now, if you don't have this next code on your profile and you want to go bid for this, just go back into your Sam's account up here, sign in. And I told, well, you know, I did a class the other day. It is actually in my course to teach you uh, about this. Um, but it teaches you, you know, how to just go back in here and put that next code into your Sam account. And now you're ready to go and start bidding on these opportunities here. All right, so we know that the uh, place of performance is gonna be African Lion Boulevard in North Carolina. Again, I'm reading through this on the high level, but you really should look at the actual opportunity, um, the, the attachment. Don't believe what we always see right here. I like to see what's on paper. <clears throat> All right, so let me read through here. That's the far, um, doo -doo -doo. It'll be in Fort Bragg. Okay, so it uh, looks like they're trying to get some exercise equipment over in Fort Bragg. 
the user requires the following items, brand name, or equal to the following. Now, here's what, what I mean, people always ask me, you know, like, what products can I sell to the government? Just read the damn solicitation. Like, I mean, shit. It, it, like, honestly, it's all right here. Pit Shark Tall Frame Brand Beachside Fitness. Color black. Made in the USA. Length, 66 inches. Width, 62 inches. Height, 94 inches. Infinity compatible. Yes. Monster compatible. Yes. Echo compatible. Yes. I'll take this right here. Okay. Um, now I'm just searching the whole line. I mean, I'm probably going to have to break it down a little bit more, but what do you know? A whole pit shark body weight loaded movements. Oh, pit shark is a brand. What a coincidence. Oh, more pit shark equipment. Well, what if I say, hey, I see everybody selling pit shark, so let me go straight to the damn source. Who's pit shark? I got to find pit shark. Looks like Cernanex might be the closest to pit shark. But I'm going to type in pit, pit Manufacture. Come on, man. We just got to use our searching skills. If I told you it was some new Jordans out here, everybody else would be able to search and find them Jordans. You need to be able to search and find this damn pit shark. All right? So I'm looking at uh, Beachside Fitness. All right? They got some pit shark equipment. Home of the pit shark. So I want to scroll to the bottom. I'm trying to look to see if they have anything about being a partner down here. I don't see anything. Facilities, pit shark training. So they probably sell some pit shark equipment. Now, since I can't, again, I'm doing this quickly. I'm trying to really find the manufacturer of pit shark. But if I can't find the manufacturer, at least I got three or four people who could sell it. Call them and find out how much does the pit shark cost. Now, I've seen something that I want to show you because where the heck did it go? And this is what somebody will ask me. And I'm like, come on, man. Like. This is why this is why some of you all struggle to win government contracts because you're just not reading. Where the heck did I see that? It said Pit Shark China, somewhere. Uh, I seen it briefly in the description. It said Pit Shark China somewhere. Now the reason I say that because if I go back over here to the, this solicitation, what does it say? Made in the USA. And you asking me, can you get the product for China? Like it just you're not reading. It just told you it needs to be made in the USA. None of this is my opinion. That's the beauty about government contracting. I have zero opinions about anything that they want. This is everything that they want. I'm literally reading it line for line, making sure that I have the pit shark tall frame brand beachside. Oh, that's what I need to look up. Beachside. <laughs> Was that where we were at before? Beachside? No. All right, so uh, they're telling me exact one, beachside pit shark. Pit shark. All right, um, load the bar. I guess load the bar, man. Pit shark strength. Let me see. See, this is all the research that you got to do to become the middleman. I'm trying to become the middleman to this pit shark equipment right here. So boom, I guess load the bar is the the people for pit shark. I need to just call them. I need to call them now that I'm uh, for sure that they got the pit shark equipment and I'm asking them right here, how much is the price for this? How much is it going to be to ship it to Fort Bragg? They need one. All right. Again, I'm reading it at the high level. I'm not really looking down into it. You would need to open up the actual solicitation, which is right here. Okay. And see exactly what they want. You're going to get a price. Okay. You mark up your percentage. <clears throat> Again, how do I know? How how could I know what type of percentage to put on it? Well, let me see. If I come back here and I go to next code three three one two zero, and I come back over here to fpds.gov, right? Again, the research that people don't want to do. You know, you make the process harder because you don't want to research. I don't do a guessing game. That guessing shit is for people who want to play around. 
I'm doing date sign, FPDS. I put the next code in. I went to date sign to see what's selling right now. Okay, now again, I don't know if this is that equipment, but what else can I do? I could actually just put in pit shark. See if they bought some pit shark stuff be before. Oh, what do you know? They bought something with pit shark. Let me go scroll down. Pit shark gym equipment. Holy shit. Get out of here. You mean to tell me that they already purchased pit shark before? They already got the price of what they're trying to sell pit shark stuff for? I mean, look, you could again go guess about this stuff, but you know, um, so be it. Uh, I have information right here that I can now call those guys up at Pit Shark. You see that three people bid it on this, so understand if you go after this, you're going to be number four. You got a 25% chance of winning there. You need to uh, probably try to come in lower than this price. Now, the thing is, I don't know if this was exactly for that bench. We don't know. Okay? But... What we could do if we really wanted this is order a FOIA. I wouldn't do it for this because there's not enough money in it. Actually, this takes too much of my time, and I honestly wouldn't do this at all. But I just want to show you guys how to do the middleman process because maybe you would want to do this opportunity to get your feet wet. This is a way that you can get your feet wet. You're literally looking at the opportunities right here. Okay, I just showed you how to middleman. You're going to call that company, get the price. You now have the price. You got a, a little bit of research there. Again, I could do more research, but that would be a whole class. Like, this ain't my project, okay? So, uh, I, I gave you a taste of the researching. You should know how to middleman that thing. Call them up. You got a price in. You're going to mark your price on and sell it back to the government in the format that they need it before the time that they're asking for it. That's how you would go about middleman and products. Now, let's see if I can find um, catering services. There we go. We're going to middleman some catering service work. Okay. This is a, now we're talking about uh, service. Okay. Now, again, it's with the Department of Defense. There's a way that you got to get yourself positioned to be in DOD to make sure that you can go there. So, you should be talking to the Ozdaboos down at DOD, making sure that your uh, company is registered with the DOD correctly. Uh, we're going to need this next code into our system. This could be the place of performance up in New York. Uh, again, I do need to download uh, this statement of work to really see what they're talking about. So uh, just because I need to show you guys, they didn't put enough information, I will download it. All right. So again, I'm going through it fast. Sorry about it, but don't have much time. As you can see, they need fried chicken, barbecue chicken, black fish, macaroni and cheese, 75 meals each day. Let me see how long they're talking about doing this for. Uh, specifications, they got to furnish all this. Uh, members prep food, cook staff receive, serve what handles online course, $15. All right, so they got to have this serve safe food thing. Da -da -da. Contract will be given driver's license number facility 72 hours prior to delivery. Cool. Again, I would take all this stuff out and I'm trying to find a company who can deliver all this and I'm not telling them who my customer is. That's the last thing that I want them to know who the hell my customer is because then they don't need me technically. Okay. Now they could not be registered in the government system, which uh, they wouldn't get registered in time if this was due in the next 30 days. So then they would need me. But uh, the contract is required. Oh, you definitely got to have your insurance. So um, you want to make sure that you have that. So on March 4th, they're going to need 75 mils, uh, all of this, water, 50 juice, whatever. March 5th, they're going to need this. March 6th, they're going to need this. June 3rd, June 4th, June 5th, August, blah, blah, blah. That's quite a bit of money right there. You know what I'm saying? I like them coins right there. I might take a look at this one myself. It's some easy work. All right, so essentially, you just find a company that can provide these mills, man. I mean, I, again... I don't know how how easier to explain this stuff. I don't want to put a bunch of words in here because it's going to confuse you and stop you when all you really need to do is read this for what it is, okay? Line by line, okay, what are they saying? Their fingernails are not cut short, so they do not extend beyond the end of the fingers and keep clean. So don't hire nobody. They got no long fingernails. They're telling you this. Like, don't argue with them. Like, no, 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 y'all should be able to wear all the things. Look, we don't have time for this, all right? 
They're telling you right here, wristwatches, bracelets, rings must be removed from uh, before prepping the food. So what does that mean? You have it in your handbook that your employees cannot have wristwatches, bracelets, or rings on when prepping food. These are just easy things. Just read it. Put it in your handbook, and now you prove that you know how to do this shit. I, again, this isn't a guessing game. They're telling you everything to do. You just got to read. The hardest thing for Americans to do. All right? So, boom. I'm calling a, a, a prep company. So now, again, I see 75 food prep. Uh, that's what they're going to need. So now I would need to go back to the Internet. I could do this one or two ways. Now, again, I could go to the Internet and find these companies, or I could just come up here. All right? I'm pretty sure, like, again, I'm not the smartest in the world, but I am for certain this ain't the first time that they went to go get some food, okay? All right, uh, so I could easily search this uh, exact organization in the West Hamptons and see, you know, what food that they've been doing before, but uh, we're going to do an overall so you could, you know, do some baseline research here. So, matter of fact, we could just go here. Straight to FPDS and just type in food prep. Like, I was going to look up the next code, but, you know, just type food prep. Now, see, some see this as competition. I see this as assets here. Man. I mean, again, look at all your companies. You could look right here at the uh, uh, top 10 companies who are doing something with food prep right over here on your left-hand side. It says... Top 10 full legal business names. These are your top 10 companies that when I type in food prep, they popped up. I'm not saying that they do that exact food prep. Again, you need to do your homework, man. I'm just giving you a high-level overview for you to quickly look at. This is why I charge the deep dive in. I'm not about to deep dive into every opportunity, but you see what you need to do. Take your time. Click on this stuff. Do your research, make sure it's food prep. But again, once you click on it, you see that it's food prep. What does it have right here? The company. It has their contact information, their address, their business name. It has their DUNS number. You can go look and see what other government contracts they've been winning because maybe they have more food prep. You can see everything that you need to proceed forward with government contracts. You just now got to get over the hump of being nervous and scared. And usually that's why you join a program. So I can tell you, your ass better move forward. <laughs> you gonna hit that button. You gonna pick up that phone, all right? So that is the middleman work. Again, you could, if it was something else, uh, there's always you could go hire employees, which again, um, you're the middleman to an employee. All you're going to do is come on over here to our good old Lincoln. All right? Lincoln got every employee that you ever want to hire. Subject matter, expert, everything that you want. And you can, guess what? You can search through this stuff. And you can start to look. I mean, what do we need? Um, let's say we need a subject matter expert that has black belt. Right? We need uh, uh, one of those good old black belt specialists that they wanted me to go to school for and get that old lean. Six Sigma. Why? When I can go hire Bobby, I can hire Andrew, I can hire Keith. I mean, hell, the list goes on. Linda, Erica, Trisha, Rob, Mar I mean, look, it's all right here. And just imagine if I hire uh, Maryland, they've already been in the United States Naval Academy. Like, they have connections or they may have already worked in the agency that I want to pursue. So, by me putting them on my team, they may have some inside information that I can use to write the best proposal. And all I'm doing is asking them uh, for a letter of intent. If you do come work for me, Will you, uh, if I win this contract, you will come work for me. That's essentially what the letter of intent says. I win the contract. Um, I pay them what they say that they want it. And boom, now all of a sudden I'm ready to go. I can utilize their resumes and all of that information in my proposal for the subject matter expert that I needed. And I am the middleman. Everything to me is a middleman because I'm not doing no work. Okay. Whether you're, you have your business 
you know, you could call it a middleman or a staffing company. That's what I like to essentially look at since I do service base a lot. I consider my business as a staffing company. And that staffing company is just a middleman from the employee to the customer, whether it's the government or a uh, big business. We're still the middleman because I'm essentially not doing the work. I just study all the resources that I have access to and the problems that they can solve. And I sell it at a higher price than what I buy it for, whether it's a person or a physical product that most people know it is. All right. Again, if you are watching this here on YouTube, I appreciate you for joining in. We're about to dive into looking up your NAICS codes and showing you how we'll find opportunities. So if you do have your NAICS code, go ahead and drop it in the comment and we'll start the process of looking up those opportunities. Uh, also, make sure you like, comment, share this, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. If you're getting information out of this, make sure that you are subscribing. Also, if you're on Clubhouse, don't forget you can click the link at the top. Join us here on YouTube so you can see exactly what I do about this. If it's your first time and you really want to get into government contracting, I do have a course, puremoneygovcon.com. I've broken down all of this information and exactly how I cheat. Yes, I do cheat. I've been cheating through business since I've started business. I've actually started the process of cheating since grade school. And I never understood why a teacher told us that we couldn't look off other people's paper. In business, you're allowed to look and you should look. So I teach you exactly how to go through this process. I've broken down everything. But again, the cheater segment is one of my favorite segments. So you can really understand how to expedite the learning curve when it comes to business, period, not just government contracting. I've also done all of the research. So when you know what agency is selling what you want to do, you just click on it. And guess what? I've got the mission statement, the organization charts. All you have to do is understand what office is spending the money in which you have, and I can get you straight to it. At the bottom, we're going to have the forecast. You will know every contract that that agency is already looking to do. You just click on it. It'll take you to it, and you can start building your pipeline in no time. You're going to get access to useful links. Yes, you want to know pricing. I have calculators right here to teach you the cheating way, right? We're going to cheat and understand exactly how to price correctly, as well as all of your certifications, guys. I have links right here that can help you go to there and get started. It's not going to walk you through doing the certification, but it will take you exactly to there, as well as your mentor protege programs and so much more. You're going to get access to my master classes. I've been starting master classes that uh, I've been doing. You'll get the replay in there when you join the course. We just did three, uh, how to set up your SAM.gov profile, prospecting for government contracts in 2022, and convincing a prime to put you on their team. Yes, there's an art to getting on someone's team for these larger contracts. So puremoneygovcon.com. Visit there, get registered today. I will tell you, every five people that register, it goes up $100. So we are at $979 right now. I don't know if it's one more sale, two, three, or four. I don't know how many more sales before it jumps up to the next price. So puremoneygovcon.com, jump in it now. But let's get back over here to researching these opportunities here. We're going to start up here with... Charlie, next code 531120. All right. I'm going to show you guys a quick way. Uh, we're going to look through SAM.gov and then I'm going to go into software that I utilize so we can look through these things a little faster and I can hopefully show you guys more opportunities. So we're going to go here through SAM.gov. Again, we're changing the opportunities to within the next year because we want to build the pipeline. And then I'm coming down here to products and service. We're going to the next code and we're putting in his next codes there. Lesser non-residential buildings. Cool. So now we have uh, 144 opportunities here. Now, again, uh, you could take this is leasing opportunities, it looks like. So, uh, you know, I'm looking at these office space in Hot Springs, Arkansas. I like it. I like it, man. I love leasing. The government the government leases all day long. Oh, I seen this earlier because I am going to Houston, Texas. I will be in Houston, Texas, March 10th through the 12th 
uh, actually talking about government contracting at the Focus Business Conference. I advise you all to get there because uh, I'm going to be breaking down Houston contracts and I had seen this pop up here and I actually meant to take a look at this. So I uh, appreciate you for putting that there. So Houston leasing right here. So essentially when it comes to leasing opportunities, again, all you're going to be doing is it's going to tell you usually, uh, uh, do, 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 do. and I'm going to have to open up the, oh, okay. I see, I see how they break it down. I'm looking up. Da, da, da. So as you can see, they're telling you it needs to be in um, Houston. And then um, again, Beltway 8. Uh, we would need to, I need to open up the actual form to get a better understanding. But I need a building that's going to be 5,093 square feet minimum and maximum. Okay, so... Uh, that is probably going to limit spaces. It needs to be a warehouse. It needs to have six parking spaces. All right. See, I don't have to guess about anything. It's telling me they're looking for uh, 17. I, I would need to see exactly. That's probably 17 months, maybe. Um, additional requirements allow for semi trucks to drive inside the building. Okay. Uh, must be equipped with a dock lift and auto lift with a maximum of 2020. Like, again, Put all this stuff, you got one or two options. You could go and do the legwork yourself, or you could call a commercial real estate agent up and have them help you out. And you're just trying to find a building on and see if you can find these opportunities. But as you can see, there are 144 plus opportunities there for you. Everyone's not going to operate the same. So let me tell you that now. So you do need to understand the agency, how they operate, and um, how they're going to go about uh, uh, giving this opportunity out. But again, you got 144 within the next year that you could start hitting the ground and running with. It's already showing. This list could grow as more opportunities come on later throughout the year. But you have plenty right now to get started with. Now I'm going to switch again. That is the opera. That's what you would do for any, any next code. It doesn't matter. Okay. How you would go about it. If you don't know what next code you want to do because you just want a middleman all types of stuff. Again, I would really change this from next year to within the next month. So you got 30 days because if you're just going to middleman all types of stuff, well, shit, you might as well just go at the next 30 days and try this out. We don't need to prolong this opportunity here. Like you don't need to prolong to see if you could throw stuff over the fence. Like let's get at it. Let's get active right now in the next 30 days. Let's look up some ATV sportsmen, military tan. Let's go. Like, don't, don't play around with it. So you may win. That's what I'm telling you. Let's go at it. But I want you to submit so you can hurry up and get a taste of it. And then you can realize like, okay, I can do this. Let me plan a little bit better because I didn't have a proper strategic approach at this. But once you win one, you know, you may not like everything that you had to do. And again, you may say, let me take a better strategic approach at this, but get started. If that's the route that you want to go next 30 days, look at these opportunities and start sourcing. You're the perfect middle man, middle woman to these opportunities to do that there. All right. So let me go over to my software here. Next Thursday, I think I'm going to get Alan to come on here and actually go over this software with you all. And I'm going to ask him to give you guys a special price for the game. You know what I'm saying? He did it before. So I'm going to ask him to come back and do it again. So look for next Thursday at noon. Uh, hopefully I can get Alan over here. And I'll make a breakdown this Fed be Fed bid speed software here and give you guys a special price for it. All right. So what we're going to do here is I'm literally going to look for federal opportunities. Uh, again, the software can look for state and local as well. So that's the other beauty about it. You just got to get the different packages. Uh, I also use something called GovWin, but uh, that's extremely expensive. So um, I really don't like to go into detail. So. We're going to look up the next next code here. Uh, da, 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 da. I hope that helped you out there, Charlie. Derek, we're going to look up your next code. <clears throat> All right, now I got to remember how to. Uh, <laughs> there we go. I said I got to remember how to use software. All right. All right, so now we can see all of the opportunities that are in your next code. Again, I, I just like software. It's cleaner. I can get to it. 
as you can see, we got pre-solicitations. We got some solicitations out here. Um, so what was your next code? That's the only thing, though. I can't really see what the next code is. Oh, ammunition and explosives. Derek, was you messing with me, man? You know, you know, I'm 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 in this field. That's why you was messing with me, Derek. You know, I just jumped in here. <laughs> All right, so uh, ammunition and explosives. I like this. I like this because I actually just got my license um, or, or in that process for the license for the... Uh, uh, you just need a license to sell firearms and explosives uh, as well as ammunition. Um, once you get the license, I mean, you're good to go. You can, again, start the middleman process because we not making no guns. Neither is any other random person out here. They're not making no ammo, you know, especially for large orders. Like, yeah, I know people who used to make ammo, but they can't produce large orders of ammo. You need to have the manufacturing company. And trust me, there's only a few out here that are doing it. So uh, go get the license and then start building the relationships. Ooh, I, but I like this explosive that switches. Man, you have, listen, the government buys some crazy stuff where you really start to look into all the stuff that they purchase of it. But uh yeah there there's there's over does it give me a total number? There's over thirty three hundred opportunities coming out in the next codes uh for ammunition and explosives. So uh tons and tons of work here. And again this is why I like the software. The software is actually going to look through um more than just sam.gov so uh, we, uh, uh, 80%, I would say 80% of the opportunities that are awarded don't come out on Sam.gov, right? They're like directly awarded. And man, I was about to show you guys, if you go to my Instagram, official Travis Davis, like, let me see if that post is still up there. Um, let's see. Uh, I was going to show, I posted, uh, maybe, nope, it ain't. So I posted an email from the um, contractor officer, uh, a direct award um, that they gave me. Well, that's coming. Uh, I've been waiting for it since last September, uh, but it's finally supposedly coming. And that's what I'm saying. Majority of the time contracts really don't come out on sam.gov through the regular process that we're seeing right here that I'm telling you to go. Uh, it comes through on the actual agency's vendors list or however they go about uh, uh, procuring opportunities. It may be on schedules, it may be direct awards, but again, this is why you need to know your agency so you can then figure out how they're going about uh, awarding opportunities there. And where did my, oh, there we go. All right, so let's look at the next next code here. Uh, Derek, I hope that helps you out there. Again, you could put that same thing in sam.gov, but there's plenty of opportunity out here for you. Um, and while we're here, you could also always go to usaspending.gov, which is a little more cleaner. All right, come over here to advanced search. All right, take your next code put in the last four years um, what am I looking up product service code sorry next code paste that there all right boom we submit search and the reason I like this is because I want to see how much money is being spent right I want to see if there's an opportunity for me to really uh, uh, Fine, fine work. So any of these big boys right here who are winning $143 million, 77, look at, look at BAE, BAE systems, Bay systems, 77 million, 71 million, 65 million, 64 million, 50. Look, that's, that's a uh, hundred, a hundred. That's all, almost half a billion dollars in less than a year. This is what, this is why I'd be saying like, we need to wake up. These companies are out here winning. This is just under that next code. BAE Systems got way more stuff that they're doing than just this. But this is half a million dollars just under that next code. And I bet is with one um, organization. I mean, 
scroll down here come back up here to the top uh, I scroll a little far enough let me see oh, it's right here Department of Defense so we scroll over yeah it's all with the army you see they got a relationship with the army the army just loading them up with millions of dollars just millions and again all of this stuff right here they still have to share some of this with small businesses so now I need to come over here because that's the industry I want to be in I need to come over here to BAE systems all right I see that they keep winning all right I'm coming over to BAE systems and I'm looking uh, let me scroll down to the bottom um, so we'll probably look at global suppliers no um, all right so what I'll type in now okay I'm back sound back <laughs> All right, hopefully that was, uh, man, I'm glad y'all put that over there. I wasn't looking. So we back with the sound. All right, so uh, what I was saying is the lower that we get down here, okay, um, you'll notice like the BAE systems and all of those companies, they're not there no more because they don't want to, they don't want these low $200,000 opportunities, all right? But at the same time, they have to partner. So I'm pretty sure as you keep seeing these same Pacific Scientific Engineers inside all of these companies right here, they are partnered with BAE Systems and all of these big boys up there winning all of that money. Okay, so you have to come over to BAE type systems and figure out how to get involved in their supplier diversity program. And now all of a sudden you could potentially partner with them on those bigger opportunities as well as you're going to utilize them as a source for those smaller opportunities. All right. So let's look at the next one. Hopefully that was able to help you out there, Derek. All right. We're going to come over here to Ken 561720. Again, don't forget, make sure that you are liking, subscribing to the channel so more people can hear about what we got going on over here. Got to get the gang right. Remember when we say gang, it's gathering and networking genuinely. All right, so for this opportunity, we're looking at utilities and housekeeping services. There's over 10,000 opportunities uh, that are coming out um, uh, with that, okay? Uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, that's a lot of opportunities to look through. I don't even know how to uh, get started with one, but um, it's looking like Department of Defense Interior. Uh, so I would definitely tell you to, uh, if if you really want to get involved, um, that you're probably, can, does this mean that 100, are you going to show me 100 at a time? Let's see. Yes, it does. All right, so by a quick glance of looking at this, okay, um, we're looking at Department of Defense. Oh, all right. So this is showing old stuff too. All right. So I'm looking at their software. So what we see right now, we're looking ahead of time. 216. Oh, no, this is when it was posted. All right. I got to actually click on to see when it was due. So. There's 10,000 opportunities that were posted. Um, they could still be active or not. I'm not for sure. But again, we can look at stuff right now. So you have uh, this Ashton Janitorial Services. Um, this is a small business set aside. So again, yeah, I mean, again, there's tons of opportunities. This will be at the U.S. Embassy in Mexico. So uh, again, if you are not set up to do business, uh, I believe that's Oconus. It's Conus, Oconus. I believe that's Oconus overseas. If you're not set up to do business overseas, just don't look at the contract, man. Like, that's the other thing. We got to stop looking at stuff that we know we can't do. Like, stop wasting your time. And if you don't see anything that you can't do, just wait. Like, come look tomorrow or look the next day. Wait to find the opportunity that works for you. And most importantly, if you're doing your research, you should never be waiting for opportunities. Because if it was awarded one time, chances are it's going to get awarded again. 
So if you do your research and look at opportunities that got awarded four or five years ago, they should be coming up for renewal this year. You can start calling the customer right now, asking them straight up, how did you like your service? How'd you like the contract? You know, and I mean, they can or cannot tell you. You can talk to workers around there. You can find them on Facebook, send them a message, all types of stuff that you can do, right? To get the upper advantage on these opportunities. But yes, as you can see, again, uh, take that same thing in there and you would put it in the sam.gov and you can find these opportunities. But there's tons and tons of opportunities coming out in your next code that have already been posted there. So again, take advantage of that kin mo let's take a look at what you got going on here all right transportation travel and relocation services so i'm guessing maybe trucking is what you're on uh, uh if it is trucking um uh i believe that is what that next code is but um dod is always going to be the biggest trucking players um, they're the ones moving stuff, as you can see, all of these DODs, a couple of health and human services right here. Uh, but uh, uh, from looking at it right here, DOD is going to be your customer, VA. Um, uh, maybe you could put health and human services. I didn't see too many of them, so I see a whole lot of DOD and VA. So, I mean, the VA and DOD would be my customer just taking a quick glance at 100 the next 100 opportunities that are out there so again dod va right now what's on the street you have this sources sort right here uh let's see when this is due january february this is due response date 210 so you missed it um that could have been an opportunity to walk in moving Moving services, you got naval airfare. This is another source of salt is due on the 24th. So, you know, you could look into that and respond to this. You could potentially get a direct award. Um, again, with the software, this will make it so I could quickly respond. So I would essentially just take this opportunity right here. Boom, I would add it to my pipeline because I want to uh, keep proceeding forward with this. Boom, boom. Come on. All right, it gets added over to my pipeline. Then I want to go ahead and respond to this. And of course, I would already, you know, I would have downloaded the file and um, got all my questions together and I would have uploaded the questions to the software. But then it has all of my company's information together and knows exactly who to send it to. It knows what to put in the subject line because I'm going to come down here. I'm going to put this was a sole source response. So I'm going to put a sole source response request. It's going to fill out the whole entire email for me. And then I would just come up here to attachments that I would have loaded right here. And I would have had that label. So they would have told me how to label the sole source. All right. So I would have loaded the sole source right here. Boom. It's up in there. I would attach my capability statement to it as well. And boom. Hit this send button. And it'll go off to the contractor contract us and I'm ready to go and move on to the next one and then I'll keep monitoring my pipeline as time goes on if I had a question about this opportunity same thing I would just click ask a question well uh, I have an opportunity I could ask somebody from fed bid speed a question about this um, or I could actually ask the uh, contract officer if I switch this over here to contract officer it'll fill their information in and again it knows how to put the subject line in and it knows what people like to see, not a bunch of the jargon, all right? Get straight to the point and boom, we're ready to go. That email flies out and we're on to the next opportunity. And most importantly, if I want a team right here, I can just come over here to partner request. But I, I want to I do that opportunity right here. I can just click on partner request and now I could go ahead and start building um, my opportunity here. As you can see, there's already companies right here asking for partners on uh, specific opportunities. This is another reason why, again, you want to get yourself around individuals who are doing government contracting because you never know what may pop up. Like Everybody needs help. Everybody. This is why you could be the best middleman in this industry because everybody needs help. Like, I love it. I don't think you'll ever find another industry that's just openly saying, I need help. <laughs>
All right, so hopefully that helped you out right there, Mo. All right, uh, again, if you guys do give me a week, I will get the owner of this software on here so you guys can get the best deal. Uh, Sierra, what's going on? We're going to look up your next code now. Wow. What the hell next code is that? Man, let me go over here to Sam.gov. Yeah, I know he's on there next code. I got to see what the next code is now. <laughs> All right, let me see what this next code is right here. I have no clue what it is. Come on. All right, so we're looking up. Oh, well, that's why we didn't find anything. I don't I don't know that that's the wrong next code uh here. See. Yeah, I'm not sure what that next code was. All right. All right. So, um, I, I, oh, here we go. Six. Four, all right. Let's look at this next code. All right. So here we go with that next code. Let me go back to the software. Throw that up in here. Boom. All right. So we have social services. All right. Uh, of course, the VA is heavy in social services, so that would be my customer. I'm looking for the VA. Um, do see a couple of DOD opportunities. Again, this is uh, going into so sources sought. There's a lot of sources sought out here, so I would definitely be responding to these sources sought. And I mean, they had a lot of sources sought. I'm even looking at the end of last year. These were all sources sought. So they're probably going to be coming out soon as a RFP uh, or their direct awarding. So you really could, if you see a, a, a old sources sought that, let's say we looked at this sources sought right here. And let's see, what did it say? You had to respond by homeless beds. Um, it was posted 714. You had to respond by 72022. I mean 722. Now, granted, that's a long time ago, so that may not work. But if it was a little closer, uh, let's say it needed to be responded to in the uh, mid January, early January, I would still contact the contract officer who's in charge of that opportunity, and it will show you uh, right here on Sam.gov. Okay. Uh, who the person is I'm going to call them I'm going to email them I'm going to call them I'm going to email them I'm going to call them I'm going to email them until I get a response did you guys hear me do I need to say it again I'm going to call them I'm going to email them until I get a response see one time somebody will send an email and they'll call and hang up and be like I tried did you just hear me? I need to call them. I need to email them. I need to call them. I need to email them. I need to email them at 9 o'clock. I need to email them at 5 o'clock. I don't know what time they respond to their emails, but damn it, I'm going to keep trying until I get the answer so I can proceed forward with this opportunity. Either you're going to quit or you're going to keep going at this stuff. All right? It's very tedious to work sometimes, but... I would much rather be calling and emailing than to be actually utilizing my time to perform on opportunities. This calling and emailing can make me a million dollars opposed to me working eight hours and only making me $300 for the day or a week or whatever. All right. Understand again, not knocking a job. I'm just telling you, you got to change your mindset to go bigger because every time I pull up this website, it frustrates me that we're not here. USA spending not good. We're over here talking about that good old C word right here. But ain't nobody talking about this. $3.59 trillion got moved. And how much of it did you get off of it? Did you get any money off this $3.59 trillion or did you just give money into it? Were you just buying all the masks? Were you the consumers? 
of everything that this $3.59 trillion went towards making. Because this $3.59 trillion put masks into the universe. This $3.59 trillion put gloves into the universe. The ones that you purchase at a higher price. All because you wouldn't go be the middleman and go source the mask that don't none of us make. Nobody asks you to make the mask. They ask you to go find the mask to sell it back to them. Nobody asks you to make anything. Nobody asks you to be the creator of services. They ask you, can you find the people who can perform and put them together so they can perform and you can charge us for it. We don't mind. Matter of fact, we have to spend this money. And you can easily come over here and see who got your money. I mean, they're literally showing you every agency. What did I tell you? Find your agency, you find your money. The DOD spent $374 billion last year. Oh, no. This is just this year. This is already, what are we in, 2021? This is fiscal year 2022. Let me switch this over to 2021 because it's showing me 2022 stats. They spent $2 trillion dollars. Medicare, $1.4 trillion. Social Security, $1.2 trillion. Healthcare, a trillion dollars. This is why we need to be over here. If you don't think that this can change your community and make an impact, then again, we're not thinking on the same levels. And you should go to the new YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? But we got to go bigger, man. And when I say we, I'm talking to the minorities. I mean, preferably, I would love to see the black community do this, but minorities, period. Like, it it takes a, a army to do this. This ain't no uh, black thing. This is an army thing. Like, you can do this at a low level. You can go get yourself $5,000. Again, that's just picking up the phone and calling. But if you want to play and really access some of this real money that's out here, that's literally sitting in front of your face. I mean, I'm showing you guys literally... That it's right here. It's accessible. It's just you not telling yourself that you can't do it. Can you supply a big tent for official events? Like, come on, man. See how I don't need to worry about all of these other contracts that I don't understand what the lingo means because it doesn't make sense to me. But supply big tents. I'm pretty sure we know how to go get some tents. Like. You've seen tents set up at fairs. You know this information. So while you're sitting at work or on your way home or on your lunch break, why instead of looking for the next makeup from Rihanna or looking for the next Jordans, all that time that you search for bullshit, you now utilize the time to go search for this tent. It take the same skill sets. So you cannot tell me that you don't know how to do this. Because I watch people do this stuff every day. You know how to search. So don't tell me what you cannot do. When I can look at your Instagram and you search for the latest content to post. You did a hell of a good job at that. You searched for that podcast that you wanted to listen to that entertained you on a million dollars worth of game because it was some entertainment shit. You was able to find that last episode of The Real Housewives that you missed. You actually went and searched for passcodes for Netflix. Like you called up 10 people so you could find somebody's passcode so you could log in. You use the right skill sets. You just use it for the wrong shit. Let's take them same skill sets that you utilize every day as a consumer. And I was there. That's how I know about these skill sets. I changed my skill sets from a waste of time and a waste of money and started bringing it over here to big dollars. Because it's the same energy. That's why you don't hear no TVs on. Like, what, what the, why do I need to watch the TV? I watch football every now and then, but what on there is going to make me money? These computer screens are my TVs because they always got money rolling on it. It's all relationships. And if I could sell their product for the price they want, and I could give it to them at the price that they want to buy it for, everybody's happy. Whether it's a product in between or an actual person doing the work. As long as that person is getting their paycheck, everybody's happy. We all get to go home and do it again. 
It just so happens my time is free. The manufacturer still got to produce the products. This organization still needs to do it and utilize it for the solution. Whether it's a person working in between now and the person's involved and they got to sit there for eight hours to provide the solution was going to take a whole year. But I'm on the outside as the middleman looking for the next deal to do it all over again. Because the one deal doesn't make me enough money. I pay everybody else out of that one deal. Everybody else. Here's the trick to middleman. Everybody else makes more money than me on a project. I never have a project that an individual does not make more money than me. They all make more money than me. And what I mean by that is if you look at your paycheck compared to my paycheck, if we were looking at it like a per hour type thing per person, you make way more money than me. It just so happens I got 25 of you sitting down. So now it looks like I make more money than you because I have 25 people making me a certain amount per hour instead of one. See, one person can only make a certain amount of money per hour, guaranteed. But if I get 25 of you on one project, I make more money than all of you, right? Because I'm combining all of your time. And the beauty about this, my time is still free, so I can now go find the next project and put another 25 people on it. And then I keep doing this, keep flipping it, because now I'm not really handling business, I'm just moving money. Instead of my money sitting in some damn stock market or sitting in some house, my money's sitting in payroll. And I'm paying payroll out and I get a percentage return every time I send the invoice. See, I simpl uh, uh, simplify everything because life is confusing as shit. But if I just tie it all in together, you see, I'm just tying it all in together because at the end of the day, business is just moving money. Because my hands are never doing the work. But if I can understand to move this money, business can start operating flawlessly. So again, guys, I hope that you guys got some valuable information out of this. We went a little bit over, what are we, about five minutes over. Don't forget, if you really want to sign up and get started with government contracting, puremoneygovcon.com, you can get registered today. And the beauty about getting registered right now is that you get to sell this exact same course to somebody else. As you start to learn government contracting, you understand the importance of this immediately. The minute you sign up, you get your link, tell somebody else about what's going on here, and you're going to get 25% commissions. That means if you sell this four times, you actually learn how to make multi-million dollars completely for free. And you can sell it 10 times and put some more money in your pocket so you can start to go hire people as well as purchase softwares that can help transform your life in this space. So again, puremoneygovcon.com, get registered today. Also, if you have not yet, come over here to my Facebook group. Yes, come to my Facebook group. You can go to Facebook, search Pure Money Legacy, okay? That will bring you over into my Facebook group. We do ask you to answer the business profile. There's going to be a link in the questions you may need to copy it and post it in the URL, but come over here into the Facebook group and we are teaching you right here in the guide section. I understand government contracting. It's not a fast get rich scheme. Okay. But what we have here is we'll be able to show you here how you can do click funnels. All right. Click funnels right here. will be able to to build you an online business, okay? A business that you can build online and literally start to grow. Generate yourself tons of revenue right here and make yourself money while you wait for that contract. If you don't have a business that's earning you at least $1,000 a month minimum, you should be right on here learning. It's completely free. All you have to do is jump in the group. And most importantly, what I do love is that we have our 100 mile uh, health challenge right here. As you can see, everybody is knocking out their miles for the day. Uh, we do uh, have a challenge going on that we're looking to do 100 miles in 90 days. Again, there's no point of getting wealthy if we're not going to be healthy. So also jump in here and join our pure health challenge. Get started today, changing that health 
getting that mind clear so you can have an abundance of funds. That's all that I got for you guys today. Again, I love you all. Hope that you enjoyed this information. Make sure that you like it, share it, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel so somebody else can find out about what we got going on over here. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and put a fire emoji in the chat and let me know that you got some info today. Do you hire individuals under W-2s or 1099? You can do either or. Um, it depends though. If it's a long, if it's a long contract, you're going to do a W two, right? It's, it's a it's a, a, a thin line between what a 1099 is and what a W two is. So if you're controlling people's time and telling them what they can and can't do, uh, as far as like you have to show up here and you got to do this by a certain um, time stamp, then that is a that's a worker. That's a W two employee. That's not a 1099. Okay. 1099 they they're contractors they can tell you no all right uh, you you can't control them so just keep that in mind as you proceed forward now with that said though uh there's plenty of 1099s out here that you can utilize to get you started on a contract maybe you do need to get a 1099 to get you started on a contract and then you could convert them over later to an employee or you get hire an employee uh, after you get that 1099 up and operating, all right? Cool, appreciate uh, the fire year, uh, sign Charlie. Mike, I hope I was able to answer that question for you. Ken, um, Sierra, Mo, Kanisha, Derek, Amber, who else we got here? Tina, L. Jefferson. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss anybody out. Uh, Omless, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Don't torture me out. I hope that you guys got valuable information. Enjoy your weekend. Love you all again. Thanks for being here.